Do you like my shoes? I totally forgot I bought them. And then I found them in a the bag and I was like, oh yeah, I bought those shoes. And they're really cool. So I'm wearing them. It's March 16th, 2016. This is vlog number 36. I think I'm running to Walmart real quick just to uh, check on some things, see if they've got it for Jamaica. Um, I found some stuff at Target that I wanted, but it's still kind of a little pricey. So um, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna just find some stuff at Walmart. Um, and I was there the other day, but it was just like, we were trying to be fast. So I'm headed over there now. And then uh, I think maybe sushi today is Wednesday. So when I walk out of my um, my door and like when I'm driving out, I don't know if you can see them. They're the white trees that like smell terrible. I think they're dogwoods, but it smells so bad. Like I have to hold my breath when I walk outside the door and then get to my car. But then I don't really like air conditioning, so I've got the windows down. So then I just smell it more. It's just gonna have to be what I live with for a little while, but it's nasty. So man just tried to give me his rap CD in the parking lot. It was strange. Not the strangest thing that's ever happened to me at Walmart. Let me tell you a story about one time I came here. And these, this couple was over there at the like guest services place, and they were talking all about this bed. Like they had like an air bed, an air mattress that was clearly used because it was like out and about, and like not in this little shell anymore. And they were trying to return it, and the guy was like, "No." You can't return air mattresses. And they were like, why not? We didn't use it. I was like, first of all, this is a lie. They also had a tent that was clearly used also because it was, it was brought back in a trash bag. People, people at Walmart, a class among themselves. But yeah, guy tried to sell me his rap CD. Underground artist is what he called himself. I don't know. I brought like a pair of shoes, like junk shoes last year, and they're really uncomfortable now because they got a bunch of concrete in them. So I'm trying to find something just like really cheap. I think these could work. They're just like fake vans. I do think it's gonna be the fake vans, but uh, I don't have a cart, so I'm gonna just like place things in my mind where they are and then go back around and get them all. I don't know. I got some shirts that like I don't have to worry about getting nasty. Um, I really like the shirts that I own, and so I don't want to get stuff that, like, or bring stuff that is going to get nasty and then I have to get rid of. These are $3 shirts. I really want a pair of scrub pants, but I don't see any here. I wonder if they're in, like, the women's section. Aha. Uh -huh. Scrubs. I don't want no scrubs, but I gotta get some scrubs. Hopefully men's and women's scrubs are the same thing. I don't really know. I'll try them. I found a lot of really good stuff. Now I have to try to find the travel section. I don't know where it is. Like, don't they have a travel section with like suitcases and stuff like that? Oh, found it. The very end of an aisle here. Oh, there's nothing there. I'm looking for like a clear, because I heard that you could put it. Put like your liquids and stuff on like your carry-on in like a clear um, case. I wanted to see if they had that, but they don't really have anything. Travel size stuff was terrible too, so I'm just gonna have to pick that stuff up at Target. Maybe order that thing from Amazon. I found it on Amazon, but it, like it was like if I can find it here, I have to wait. But it's okay. And I think I'm going full vans. I gotta see what of this stuff I really need and what I don't need. I feel like I got a lot of really good stuff and I just like to get like stuff that I don't care about when I go on mission trips. Um, Cause I don't wanna be worried about what's gonna be happening to the stuff and like what, that's not a fun way to like be like, oh no, I don't wanna do that cause it could ruin my shirt or my shoes or my, you know, like anything like that. So I usually bring my Chacos cause you can't really ruin Chacos. And then I like to get a, some sort of other uh, pair of shoes, especially since we could be doing concrete work 
which is what we did last year and my shoes just got ruined and they were kind of like a nicer pair of shoes um, that I really liked and now they're just kind of rendered useless so um, just got a cheapo pair so that I can hopefully salvage the ones that I have and not have to worry about those and I can just leave them there. I think sushi's still happening later on today at like 12.45. So I think I'm gonna run by Target real quick just to see what they've got in their travel section and try to finish up some shopping. We don't leave for another like week and a half, but um, I'm, I, I wanna get stuff done. Time for some Target. I don't know if you could see when I was walking in here, but there was a guy that was definitely hardcore staring at me while I was talking on the phone. It was pretty hilarious. Oh, gotta get shop cake. I found nothing at this place. I found a bag I really wanted, but it was still $60, so I didn't get it. But I do need to get some of these shop cakes. Found absolutely nothing in there. One of those days. I think we're going to sushi now. I should probably leave so I get there on time. I love sushi. Well, I left Target in time to get there on time, and then I sat in my car and looked at duffel bags on Amazon. I just, like, the carry-on that I have right now is really just, like, not great. And I'm just trying to figure out if I need to get a... The, the duffel bag that I found at Target was so amazing. I just wish that it was on sale, but it's not. I did it. I ruined it. Do it again. Sushi is so delicious. Oh, that was so good. Working from outside today. It's just too nice to not be outside, and it's really cold in our office, like a freezer. So we're just working from outside. We do everything from the computers, so it works. The Wi-Fi doesn't work outside, which doesn't make sense because we're in between two buildings that have Wi-Fi that work perfectly. Who really knows, but headed back inside now. It's about 3.30, I'm headed downstairs uh, to just practice a little bit. And I think everybody else is downstairs because nobody's in the office. Everybody just like walked out behind me. I don't know, headed downstairs. I just made a green room today. Watch, look at this, look at this. It's just, it's just some, some chairs and a piano bench. But it gets you away from everything. You can just sit back here, think about the night, drink some Dr. Perky that's like 10 weeks old and really flat. This is really from the Fuse gathering I did in January. All right, Fuse is starting. Uh, gonna get that done. I'm taking my sunglasses off because you can't even see them in my head. Um, yeah, Fuse is starting and doing worship. Donna speaking, our main pastor, and it's going to be awesome. When Jesus came to Thomas and said, Here are my hands, here's my side. And Thomas touched, and then he said, My Lord and my God, you're the one. You're the one. Fuse is done, went super great. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. And now, I think I'm going to Wendy's. Um, I'm really hungry. Renee's already had dinner with her dad. So I'm gonna get some Wendy's, hang out with some of our students. Wendy's has now become a, has become a regular thing. And I really enjoy it, so go to the Wendy's. Yeah. 100% pure yeah. North American beef. Raised in our. The 
vlog is over. Oh, there he is. I see Josh. That's a beat. Everyone can dance, BJ. Ah. That deserves some fries. I will die. That definitely feels like it. <laughs>